See you Tony Travis here, and um, as you can see, we're in a beautiful hotel here in New Orleans, Louisiana. But unfortunately, I got some bad news for you COH fans out there. Randy Tiller was found unconscious backstage. In fact, uh, we'd like to show you the video footage of what happened backstage. Reggie Tiller has suffered a serious injury due to the hands of the Patriot, and he will be out of action definitely. But as for the Patriot, we uh, we, don't, we have no idea where he is at the moment, and that's why I'm cutting this promo, because I ain't going to go look for him. So Patriot, I just hope you're around. We're brothers. We're gonna have a good time. Your ass gets fucked! Peter Gilmore. Peter fucking Gilmore. You little faggot. Oh my god. You just had to get in the middle of this. Like the little bitch you are. You knew that I wanted to get involved with the vicious bullies. Okay, that's that should be me. That should be me. But you know, you, the bullies, hell, maybe even Travis, you guys all fucked me over. But you know what? I'm going to make the best out of a worse situation. You know, if I have to pass getting a tag team title shot, you know what I mean? I'm going to just fucking take it out on you, Gilmore. You're going to regret getting in the middle of this feud. I challenge you to a fucking Iron Man match, okay? You can do your gay little, you know, extreme hardcore rules. You know, you want to use a table, you want to use a chair, bring it on. Whatever you do, I can do better, Gilmore. It's just that simple. You're just a fucking jobber. You're not even in our league, okay? Like, we're already being noticed by the vicious bullies. They're starting to see how tough we are as a team, okay? You haven't proven shit since you've been here, Gilmore. You're pathetic. And the fact that you jump behind me like that, it just proves you're a fucking coward. You can't take me one-on-one. -on -one. You lost to my fucking sidekick. But make no mistake, Gilmore... I will fuck you up. But you know what? You know what they also say? You know, every time a door closes, another one opens. You know, maybe... Maybe I should be trying to go for a singles belt. I've already had the tag team titles once in another company. Maybe I should go for the internet championship or, hell, even the heavyweight championship. You never fucking know. But either way, you will be seeing more of me, COH. You know, whether it's... In the tag team division or the singles division, it doesn't fucking matter to me. But I'm here to stay. And Gilmore, I don't know if I can say the same about you. This, this, I could possibly end your career in this next match. If this Iron Man shit happens, you know, whether it's 15, 20, hell, even 30 minutes. If Travis will let that go on, you know, you know, I understand, you know, each show's got its duration, you know, and there's other shit on, other pay-per-views on. But if it's possible to go just all the way out, Iron Man, fuck, I'd be down for that. I don't think you'd be extreme enough to handle it. But I would make you submit so many times, Gilmore. You know, put on no DQ, whatever you have to do to try to keep up in the fight. But I don't even think that's going to be enough for you, Gilmore. You're just a pathetic piece of shit. And, you know, bullies, you're saying that you're not associating with this guy. You guys can say whatever you want. There is some kind of conspiracy behind this shit. Whether you paid Travis or Travis paid you or help or Gilmore, whatever. One of somebody is behind all this, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. You don't fuck with the big daddy. She'll rot your fucking teeth out. Your jaw will be gone. You'll be bleeding out your fucking mouth because of Copenhagen. So yeah, Hell's Palace, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm still rooting for my brothers. Big Garth's going to be there. You know what? <sighs> you know, let's just say my brothers don't come out victorious. You know, they don't get a shot. Hell, I might still go for it with Big Garth, you know? Or not. You know, maybe I'll go for the singles goal. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter to me, guys. Okay? We're unstoppable. Okay?
we're the next big thing. Okay, and there's not a goddamn thing anybody in the locker room can do about. You know, this whole jumping shit, yeah, whatever. You surprise me, but you know what? I'm still here. I'm not crippled. I'm not in a fucking um, stretcher. Okay, you're going to have to do a lot to get me there. And Gilmore, I don't think you have what it takes. Okay? So just remember that. I will fuck you up. Iron Man match, bitch. I hate to tell you I told you so. I told you so. I told all of you people that I was gonna make March my month. I told you people that I was gonna be at Lust, and I was at Lust. I told you people that I'll be at Collateral Damage, and I was at Collateral Damage. Oh, what a month of March it was. You know, I love March. March is a great month. You know why? Because baseball starts spring training, NCAA tournament, the end of hockey, the end of basketball, WrestleMania time coming up. Well, March was a great month for this guy, for the Armada. It was a great month. A great month. First, it all began at Lust. When I o made an open challenge to anybody in the COH roster. Anybody. I could have fought anybody on that roster. I could have fought Reggie Tiller. Reggie Fad! Reggie Media! Run you out! I could have fought... I could have fought fought anybody. I could have fought Bully Nate. I could have fought Mark Vicious. Anybody. I didn't care who it was. But nobody answered my challenge except for one man. That man was some old has been piece of fucking shit named Mike McGregor. Really? Really? Mike McGregor. The old school Mike McGregor. Wow. And everybody thought I was shocked. I wasn't shocked. I was in, embarrassed. Embarrassed. Why, you ask? Because I had to fight some old hack. Ugh. Some... Just a jabroni. Mike McGregor is a jabroni. He is a nothing. He is the. He's a piece of shit. That's what he is. And let me say that he did give me a little bit of a fight. He gave me a fight. I'll tell you that. He gave me a fight. But what happened? He fell to the extreme icon Peter Gilmore and the Gilmore Armada. I beat him so bad that he is gone from the COH. He is gone. I retired his old ass. And that was just my first victim. I will have many more victims to induct into my house of pain. And no, that is not a catchphrase, and no, it's not a name of a band. Jump around! No. It's my personal house of pain, where the old pieces of shit go to die. And one by one, each member of the COH roster will go into the house of pain. To rot and never be seen from again. Now, moving on from Lust, we get to Collateral Damage, which happened a couple weeks ago. I didn't have a match on the card. I was happy with that. I didn't really care. 
but it seems one man keeps sticking his nose into my business. And that is the biggest pile of redneck shit in the COH. That's right, I'm talking about you, country boy. Or as I call you, country dick. You know, you come out here, you want to mock my style, my extreme style. You want to say I'm not extreme for the COH. You know, you want to put me out of the COH. You want to do this and that and that and this, blah, 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 and your brothers are sucking your cock. They want to put me out. Whatever. It ain't gonna happen on my watch. And now you got this new member of the Asshole Brothers. whoop de doo Probably sucks your cock too. Joke. All four of you are jokes. You know, you, me and you had a nice little brawl at Collateral Damage. And I'm sad that the referees and the agents in the back had to break us up because I was ready to put you out. And then you made this challenge at Hell's Palace for me and two members of my choosing against you and your and your little band of assholes. Two of you, two members of your fucking clique. Ooh, I'm scared. But it seems that our leader, Travis, nicks that match. And he nicks the one-on-one -on -one match between me and you. Because he knew that I was going to beat you to within an inch of your life. But that's okay. If it's not going to happen at Hell's Palace, it's going to happen soon enough. And believe me, country boy, when I get you in my ring... <laughs> I'm gonna whip your ass like it's never been whipped before. I'm gonna make you bleed like a stuffed pig and I'm gonna retire you from the COH. I am gonna induct you myself into the House of Pain. But that's another t story for another time. Let's get to this month's pa CPV called Hell's Palace. Nice name! And how fitting the extreme icon is in his own element. Hell. But instead, instead of fighting Country Boy, I get to fight Jeff Zandig. One member of Team Puffed. Name, name, name. You know, Jeff, I'll give you credit where credit is due. You are an amazing wrestler. But you teamed with Reggie Tiller. <sighs> really? I mean, really? Can I get better competition here? Please? I have to fight jokes, like Mike McGregor. Ugh. It's just sad that I have to resort to fighting wimps and not fighting real talent. But I guess, I guess I'll start off with the weaklings and I'll work my up, way up. to the top names in the company. I'll work my way up, that's okay. But sooner or later, I will be coming for that hardcore title, for that United States title, for that world title, and for that internet title too. Everybody who has a title is on notice because the Gilmore Armada is coming for your ass. And Jeff Zandig, I feel sorry for you, because at Hell's Palace, you're getting inducted into the House of Pain. Good luck, my friend, in your future endeavors, right after I beat your ass. 
And Country Boy, I hope you're watching. Because what I do to Jeff Zandig will be nothing to the beating that I give to you whenever I see you again. Hell, I might even show up in your match. But you'll never know where I'll be. You'll never see the Gilmore Cutter coming. You'll never see the end of days coming. You'll never see anything coming. But, but when you least expect it, BANG! I will drop you on your ass. So Jeff Zandy, get ready. Was at Hell's Palace, your ass is getting taken to the extreme. And Country Boy, you're next, bitch. Enterprise, Enterprise, thank God I found you. Have you um, have you seen another uh, picture around here? I'm looking. I've been looking all over the, the, the city for him, literally. No. What do you think I want to do with him for? They, 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 I, Hey, Macracy, have you seen Patriot around here? Who? The Patriot, you know, the, old, the, the guy with the mask, the all-American, American, American. The one with the dazzling smile? Dazzling smile. Dazzling smile. You want to know what I find dazzling in this whole experience? It's the fact that Justin Bateman's not here to conspire. That's what I find dazzling. Who is he, anyways? Seriously. Who? I'm Justin Bieber. Who is he? Who knows? Who cares? All I know is that he's like Adolf Hitler. And all these little tunes that surround us are Nazis. And they're trying to wipe us out. Wipe us out clean. If we want to put a stop to this, we've got to be like America. Like whoever that guy you're talking about. Take the Nazis out one by one. He's crazy, but he makes sense. All right, well, I gotta continue looking for the Patriot, but um, whatever. Thanks for that little. Hey, inaccuracy. What? I'm trying to. Hey. What? I think you're on to something. Let's stay close. Sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> well, you guys have fun, but I gotta continue looking for the Patriot. Thanks for your time, guys. Oh, wait a minute. It's the Vicious Bullies, the COH Top Team Champions. Attacking Country Boy Thriller. Wait, what? I mean, it's your man, Bully Nate, baby. First of all, we're representing the motherfucking East Coast. And I come here for a message. I don't know how long I'm going to go because I got shit on my mind. Because these motherfuckers know me. And they're trying to test me. Asshole brothers. You motherfuckers should have ran when you got the chance. Now you've got no chance. Hmm. Now you got no chance. Mm -mm. No chance in hell now. Let's check this out. So the asshole brothers, they debut in COH. And instead of making a name for themselves, these two motherfuckers, actually not two anymore, because they got a whole bunch of guys now. These motherfuckers call out me and my man, Mark Vicious. We ignored them at first because we don't respond to jobbers. In case you didn't understand, we don't respond to jobbers. But... They keep on testing and testing and testing and testing us, and they keep on calling us out. They can't get our fucking name out the mouth. Whether they're making a motherfucking video, whether they're on the fucking Facebook page, they can't get our motherfucking names out their mouth. So, that only leaves us with one thing to do. Actually, two things. Number one, we can ignore you motherfuckers more. We can keep on ignoring y'all. Or number two, we're going to beat the living fuck out, y'all. Now, you see, 
where I come from, you don't call a nigga out unless you're ready. You see, <laughs> you should have just walked away when you had the chance. I told you motherfuckers to stand down because once we're on to you, look what we did. We took the tag team titles. We're coming after you motherfuckers now. All you had to do was respect us, right? That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. But you took the wrong approach. You disrespected us. <laughs> That's a no-no. I don't care who it is on this fucking roster. It can be from Justin Bateman to Immaccuracy to the Notorious 187 to Reggie fucking Tiller. We don't take disrespect from nobody. You think because we're in a motherfucking tag team that we're going to take shit? Let's remind you motherfuckers why we're even in a tag team to begin with. It's because the owner kept fucking us over. Okay? That's exactly why. So me and Mark decided to join forces and look what the fuck we done did. We done took titles. Shut the fuck up. We done took titles. And now the asshole brothers want some of us. I tell you guys what. I'm in a good mood. We had the month off. I got some yoga in. We've been stretching. I'm talking. I've even been singing up in this bitch. We're going to take it old school. I've been dancing. And if this motherfucking phone rings one more time, I got a text message. It's on Twitter. Bully Nate is the future. You damn right I'm the future. We've been dancing. Me and Mark went to clubs in Los Angeles. We missed a show in New Orleans, but we came in there, made an appearance, and then we got the fuck up out of there because we went to Bourbon Street, and we was partying it up. I'm talking, we was doing shit that you ain't seen in the fucking movies. We had bitches opening their legs, we did shit you ain't seen in porn. We had rappers down there, we spit lyrics that you ain't heard in a motherfucking song since Tupac. We were living it up. Had a whole fucking month off. But now, I'm professional. I step back. Now it's time to go back to work. And when we come back to work, asshole brothers, best and motherfucking believe we're coming after you two fuck motherfuckers. Or whoever the fuck wants to face us. We're coming after you. Because you're not going to back me up in the corner and, you know, let me wait and respond. Mm-mm. Oh, no. You're going to take what's coming to you. Because I motherfucking guarantee... T, me and Mark is going to retain what's ours, and that's the COH Tag Team Championship. <laughs> I'm the one pulling the fucking ratings around here. I should be the world champion. Or Mark should be the world champion. <laughs> but I'll take the tag team titles. We got it. And we're going to keep using them. We're going to keep on rising above. You know... When he's on Bourbon Street chilling with Rick Ross and the MMG Maybach Music Group, I'm talking Wale, we was in there chilling. What is it John Legend said? Swindling women, champagne sipping. This pimping is so magnificent. Stop dreaming it. I'm living it. That That's how it was. All right? We was chilling. But we're back to work now. Unless the owner's going to give us more time off. Doesn't matter to us. We want to work, but if the owner ain't gonna give us shit to do, we'll just collect our paychecks and keep the tag team belt as long as we fucking want to. We ain't shit you're gonna do about it, okay? Now, I want to tell this to the asshole brothers who think they're so tough and hot shit. I'm gonna give you one chance to take that back. I'm gonna give you one chance to revert your actions, and I'm going to give you a chance to apologize to the fucking vicious bullies. Because you don't apologize to us, I'm going to take this fucking baseball bat, and I'm going to whack you right outside your motherfucking head. And that's how I'm going to win the match. I don't fight clean. I am a bully. Do you know who you're talking to? My name is Bully Nate. I kick ass, take names, and come back another day. And if you motherfuckers want a piece of this motherfucker, I'm going to take this fucking baseball bat like I'm Derek Jeter and hit your motherfucking ass right in the fucking head. So, what you want to do, partner, it's up to you. You can
can apologize to me and Mark. Or you can try to think that you got some balls. But I guarantee you one motherfucking thing. If you step to us again, if you call the vicious bullies out again, we're gonna come for your motherfucking ass. That's my motherfucking promise. We're coming after you, motherfucker. So you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. My advice to you two is you best get on your knees, see if you can get this shit hard, and see if you can suck on this dick and get some of this great fucking cum. Because I tell you one thing, if you get my cum in your throat, you're going to get the bully infection too. And then maybe you can join the vicious bullies. You see, we're looking for a third guy to join the vicious bullies. Not that we need a third guy. Don't get the misconception twisted. Don't get it twisted. We don't need a third guy. We're letting the guy join because we want to bring him up. We want to have a Sean X Pac Waltman. We want a Just Incredible. We're the click and we're going to bring up a young guy so he can follow in our motherfucking ways. So, asshole brothers, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm with it one way or another. You apologize to us and we move on. You go after Gilmore like I know you want to do. You do your motherfucking thing with Gilmore. Swear to God, you disrespect us again. It's gonna be the last mistake you ever made. I could put my life on that. I swear to everything I love. I'm gonna use this baseball bat and crack you right in your motherfucking head. And if you think I'm lying, don't apologize. Try me. And try Mark. And that's all I got to say about that, bitch.
Hey, Jay, he beat you twice. He did not beat me twice. Think about it. First time, it was a lead pipe. Second time, as that crazy lunatic in my jersey always says, it was a conspiracy. But if there's no conspiracies involved, no cheating involved, know that. The all-American. like a little wimpy little girl. Give me my match. You know what? The reason I came to you was for that I'm not paying for that fine. That's coming out of your paycheck. So until you pay that fine, you're not getting Bray Titus anytime soon. And so besides, he's in the Elimination Chamber match at the next show in St. Louis. But you seem you're not going to be there. You seem, you just seem so, I want a rematch. Well, you know who else is pissed off that they lost? Zane LaFontaine, the Flying Dolphin. And since you two have something in common that, well, you both didn't win your qualifying matches, I figure, why are you pointing at me? Whatever. I figure you two can face each other at Hell's Palace. So pack your bags, Patriot. Go to American Airlines because you're heading to St. Louis. That's all I wanted to do. Alright? Good night. Don't get that fine. Fly it. Dolphin!